Introduction to function sets, functions, and mapping, and good day to you, and how are you? I hope you're doing fine, and today we will discuss about a little bit about function, a bit of relations, and more on functions. So meaning, um, basics muna tayo, so we'll not go going to detail that much such as linear, quadratic, and piecewise, kasi dapat alamin natin ang basics nila, and what are the funda what is the foundation of these functions such as linear, quadratic, piecewise, and etc. Okay? So, let's go. So, here are the objectives before we start. So, at the end of this lesson video, we should be able to familiarize and understand the meaning of a relation and a function. We should be familiarized the basic concepts of a function. Okay, so let's... Okay, mayroon pa lang isa. We should be familiarized with the basic set concepts to find to help us to find the domain and range of the function. So, dapat alamin din nyo ang set concepts kasi part of this video, we will deal with sets a bit. Okay? So, let's proceed. So, what is a relation? Okay. So, what is a relation? So, a relation is a pairing between the elements of the two given sets such as x and y. The first set is called the domain while the second set is called the range. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, so here's an example of our relation. Okay, so we have this one. Okay, so paano ang gagawin yan? So we just need to pair them. So x and y. So so let um so let every element or, or let every element or any member of this set x ito y naman so x and y so we have 1d we have 2c we have 3c so basically yan yung itsura ng relation so what is a relation and a function okay function pala sorry a function is a is a special type of relation that each element in the domain pairs with exactly one element in the range. In other words, the pairing should be one to one. Oh, when it comes to real life, it is like a boy is loyal to one girl. Basically, it is like a couple without a third wheel. Took. Okay, here's an example of the function in visualization or. Let's see. Ooh, we have people here. So here are the people who are in relationship in a diagram. Sana all. Sana all may relasyon. Or kung love team ba yan, hindi ko alam. Basta relationship ang nakalagay daw dito. So, yan. Yeah, alam ko nakarelate kayo dito kasi grade 8 naman kayo, di ba? Para lang yan, may crush lang kayo. So, wala lang kayo third wheel. Ang saya. <laughs> so, have John, Sandy, we have David, Kara, and Anthony, Barbie, and Henry Nessa. Oh. So, we have John, Sandy, we have David, and Kara, and Henry, and Nessa. And we have Anthony and Barbie. Okay. So, yun lang yung... Okay. So, always remember this, guys. A function... If you think of a function, isipin nyo lang na it is like cop a couple. It is like the set of a couples without a third wheel. Look, one arrow lang. So, one boy one to one girl. Wala kang nakikita dito one, girl, one boy to two girls. It's only one boy to one girl and one boy to one girl, one boy to one girl, and one boy to one girl. That's it. No more third wheel. Oh my god. Sana all. <laughs> okay. So, domain and range. So, the domain of a function refers to the set of all values of x. Also, the domain is known as the independent variable, meaning it cannot be affected by the other variables. The range of a function refers to the set of all values of y, and also 
The range is known as the dependent variable, meaning it can be affected by other variables when solving. Okay, so I will explain for a bit. If you don't understand, I will make it short. Okay, so basically the domain is the set of all x. The set of all x, meaning 1, 2, 3, or any member. So the independent variable is basically a variable. It's a standalone variable, so meaning... Whenever you do to it, it will never change. At all. While the dependent variable, while the dependent variable from the word dependent, the de so nagdidepende siya sa independent variable. Ganun lang siya, okay? So independent, standalone, dependent. Nagdidepende lang siya kay independent variable, okay? So next slide. Okay, so how Domain and range relates to each other. So imagine this. So let's say there is a machine and you will put X in that machine. Then after that, it produces an output of Y. So read uh, so to read this as the function of X. So note the function of X is equal to Y. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So for example, I will put X within this machine. It's like you're making an ice cream. So, meaning I will put the ingredients here. Then, after that, the product will be ice cream. Okay? Para lang ganun. Same as um, domain and range. So, whenever x, kung anong x dito, it will affect y. That's why it's called the dependent variable. Kasi, nagdidepende siya kay x. Which is the independent variable. So, nagets yun na anong sinasabi ko kanina. So, yun lang yung illustration ng the, the relationship between the domain and range. And that's why domain is called the independent while the range is called the dependent. Okay. So, how to find the domain and range? Okay. So, yung panuhanapin si range, ah, mamaya na yan. Eh, ito kasi puro ito domain. Kasi importante kasi ang domain. Kasi if you don't know how to find the domain, you cannot also find the range. So here are the two important insights you need to remember to determine the domain. So if the function is a fraction, make sure the denominator is not equal to 0 because it will make the function undefined. So, so for example, 1 over 0 is undefined. Okay? So number 2. If the function has a square root, the value inside of it should not be a negative number. Because we cannot square root a negative number. For example, negative 4, it's not equal to negative 2. Because if you square mo si negative 2, it will be 4, not negative 4. Okay? Yan yung illustration. Yan yung dahilan bakit di natin pwede or bucket hindi negative number dapat sa side ng square root or within the square root kasi it will never when the result kung anong result yan hindi siya existent hindi siya existent at all there's no such thing as a perfect negative number perfect square negative number walang ganun okay okay so, here's the example. So, instructions of find the domain and range of this function. So, it one example muna tayo. Um, the important thing is, kailangan din natin uh, malaman kung paano, how to find the domain and function. So, ano yung process dyan? Okay, so first. So, the process would be, to find the domain, you can, actually, sa x, you can insert any value. So, for example, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, and... Kung anong resulta, kung i-substitute mo si x, yan yung range. Okay, okay. so let's, let me read the answers here. So, the domain of the function or the set of all x is the set of all real numbers except 0. Bakit hindi 0? Because it will make the range undefined. We have, there's no such thing as undefined. Okay, so you can write domain in this way. Okay. So, negative infinity and 0. So, it means that, so the meaning of this is that, okay, so let's say x. So, x 
is not equal to 0. And ito din. Ganito lang din siya. And x is can be equal to negative infin infinity but not equal to 0. And 0. And x cannot be 0 but it can be infinity. Because it means because real numbers are the numbers of the real numbers infin infinite sila. We cannot count them all. So, okay. Note this, note this, this is a set notation. So, you, if you still know the basics of the set, you can understand. Kung hindi nyo po ma-understand, you can post this video and search about set notation. And you will understand because I will not explain it further. But, okay, I will, maybe I will just tell it to you. Ano meaning tong letter U? It means the union, okay? The union. So, this is the set, the set of all... Um, negative numbers and this is a set of all positive numbers and we know that 0 is not a positive or nor negative number because it is neutral and we know that 0 is not the value of x in this situation because we know that 0 can make this function undefined okay so while the range of the function set of all y is also the set of all real numbers except 0 because we don't have x that make the function 0. Yes, we have no x to make it 0. You know why? Because in order to make it 0, 1 should be 0. But since 1 is not 0, there's no such thing in, in this case that y could be 0. You know why? Because there we have no x to make it 0. Okay? Ganun lang siya. Okay, so... Yun lang talaga. So basically, the two important insights how to find domain and the, the range is that make sure when you find the domain, you substitute as soon as you can. As you can. Okay. Before we end this, paano natin hana? Paano i write? How we write the function? Okay. So, so I will explain to this bucket ganito. So we have two different brackets. So we have this and this. Okay, so ito yung sub example, right? Pero different numbers lang. Okay. Pag iroster notation mo siya, gaito itsura niya. Um, by the way, the meaning of this is exclusive. So it means the numbers on the sides cannot be included in the set. So like, set A is 1, 2, 3. Example lang dito. Infinity. Kasi infinity, hindi naman siya, ano... It is not a finite number. That's why it's called infinity. Eh. Okay, so... Ito naman, it means inclusive. So, example, 0 and 4 and... Set B is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, you can pause this video and see the difference, okay? Basically, to write the domain, mag-substitute ka lang, i-take note mo lang. You, you can make also the table of values if you want. And... Press lang yan sa range. Okay. So, I can explain it further. Talaga. Kasi, mahaba na yung video. Okay. So, yun lang ang lesson natin for today. And, I will make more videos about functions. If you don't understand, please comment down below. Kung ano ba improve ko. Like, ano ba explain ko further. Okay. Para matulungan ko din kayo. Okay. So, Goodbye for now, and see you next time. Bye.